All right, welcome to the next session. Good afternoon. I am very happy to be here again with the um, World Tourism Forum. And um, today we have a really exciting um, topic. It's about the, um, NFTs collecting NFT marketplace. And um, yeah, before I start with our session, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Martin Videnka. I am um, the former social media, head of social media by of Thomas Cook. I now work in the field of influencer marketing and social media, and I'm the co-founder of Member, which is an NFT marketplace we are working on right now, and this is also the topic of today. And I'm really happy to introduce my two guests today. First one is Riyad Labi. He is um, the former head of social media from Der Tour, and he's now um, the content marketing manager of B&B Hotels Germany. He's also um, a travel blogger. That's why he has a really broad knowledge about travel and social media. The other one on the right side is Samson Heptom. He is uh, a coffee entrepreneur from Germany. He owns uh, different roasteries in the Netherlands and in Germany. And he has uh, different cafes in Germany. And um, Samson knows everything about the F&B business. And both of them are potential stakeholders of our platform. That's why the three of us can give you nice, uh, great insights about what Member is about. But before we start with giving you insights, I would like to start with a different topic, which is really closely connected. And this is the topic of collecting. Everybody likes to collect things. What about you, Riyad? What do you like to collect? Oh, good question, uh, Martin. I started traveling uh, eight years ago uh, as a backpacker, and it was hard to find something to, to, to collect. To, um, yeah, so I was collecting my memories uh, from, from my travels, and then I decided to collect uh, small things like fridge magnets. So I have a collection of over 200 Over 200? Yeah. In how many countries have you been? Oh, probably 45 countries and, uh, yeah, I don't know, probably over 60, 70 cities. Wow. So <laughs> for you, collecting moments is something really emotional, right? Yes, absolutely. What about you, Samson? What do you like to collect? I'm not the type of typical guy that actually collects, but what I really like to collect is uh, moments and um, information and uh, try to use it for my business and to... Um, use it or give it to other people that they can use it for their personal character or uh, for their business. And um, you, what I... You told me you, have some, you brought something with us today. Of yeah, I bought a book, today. actually. For my thing is actually, I, I like to um, collect, like I said, information. And uh, uh, in the hospitality, I was like traveling a lot. I was like doing culinary uh, travelings. And I did a book that you can see actually here for my personal... Uh, information that I would like to do and then I wrote down like really fast and then that was actually one of the reasons how I can get my business really development um, because I could see directly what people were doing good in their business and what they were doing bad and I try to avoid the bad things and to implicate the, the good things and I still do it and I will do that also here in uh, Dubai we will check some coffee places to see uh, what the coffee we are seeing here in Dubai is and um, have high expectation. And I've heard that uh, because of your knowledge that you collected in the past, the, you, the coffee you offer in, in Germany is one of the best. You have one of the best yeah, beans. I, I would like to, from other people to hear that is one of the best. You know, it's kind of arrogant if I would say that. But um, we're doing pretty good, actually. Um, the numbers going high every year. Um, even COVID uh, time, we were doing actually 20% plus. And um, we're trying to have like really fast solutions and we are not consecrating just of the good coffee. We are consecrating of the human um, and trying to have a good atmosphere at the same time. I mean, the reasons like you just, you just mentioned is you want to learn more about something because you collect memories or moments and same, same for you, Riyad. And I mean, a lot of people do it for pleasure, but... Um, when it comes to, um, to collecting, um, it's also about, about value. If, if you collect certain, certain things like, like, like art or good wine, then the prices might go up. And the same with, with like digital art. If you 
if you collect digital art, the price might go up because you are one of the collectors, and um, yeah, you and that's why other people see that you collect it, and then prices go up. And you mentioned before that you like to travel. This guy, uh, Trubinsky, he's a famous YouTuber. He collected uh, like travels, and he visited every single country in the world, which is. Um, after his count, 179, and uh, this is also what he likes to travel. It's not about n nothing monetary, it's something really emotional for him. And um, also, you know, maybe this, this person, Steve Aoki, he likes to collect, uh, collect trading cards. So when it comes to collecting, you can collect so many things from trading cards, memories, Starbucks mugs. <laughs> yeah, I should be uh, staying uh, bunker mugs or something like that, but it's all right, uh, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, like some people also like to um, collect followers or even sneakers. Um, that brings me to the next one. I like to collect sneakers. And um, what do sneakers have to do with um, our topic today? Um, I don't know if you know this brand. It's a pretty new German brand. It's called Flowers for Society. The sneaker is not released yet, but you could purchase the, re the sneaker last year. And this sneaker is called Seed One. And when I purchased this sneaker, it came with an NFT. So it was like my first NFT that I ever collected, and it's attached to the sneaker. So what is the benefit? I mean, I, I, um, I um, paid 200 euros to get the sneaker, which will, be, which, which will be delivered this year, some at some point this year. And it came with this um, nicely looking um, NFT, which is a digital flower. And um, this NFT, which is number 600, will give me um, access to limited editions in the future, to yeah, certain drops of new products. And um, now you might ask how many NFTs are out there, maybe like one million, then it is nothing special anymore. In the end, um, this company gave out only 2,200 NFTs. This sneaker brand is not known yet. However, the head of this brand is, um, had a really high position at Adidas. He was in charge of all the col collaborations of Adidas. And um, if this brand goes up, suddenly these NFTs will have a huge value and other people won't want to buy this, this NFT from the, others, from the other owners. So um, you see here, NFTs are extremely strong connected to the, co um, to the topic of collecting and um, yeah, also to the topic of like value, um, building something up, and um, this is how we, I would wanted to start our our talk here. Before we now check out the platform member, which is the name of our um, loyalty um, pro uh, solution, I would like to ask you guys from your business perspective, what can you say? Um, what what did you recognize, uh, Riyad? When it comes to collecting, what do you do? You, do your customers like to collect? What do you, as B and B hotels, what do you offer? Just give some some insights, please. Yeah. Um, so at the B and B hotels, we have uh, a loyalty uh, program uh, where um, our customer can uh, get a membership for a year and uh, collect points through, uh, uh, yeah, booking B and B hotels uh, uh, through our platform. And uh, yeah, so one night it's equal to 100 points, and uh, these points, um, when you collect them, you can uh, use them to to get a free night if you have like 1,000 points, or get uh, a free uh, um, a breakfast or uh, something like that. So uh, the the principle of of collecting is actually there, and and uh, our customer at BNB Hotels is interested uh, at our uh, membership. Okay, yeah. cool. I mean, um, like collecting points um, from a brand is nothing special, I would say. Yeah. You know it from every single brand, every single um, yeah, group. Yeah. Um, however, um, it's good to hear like what, what your customers expect and how it works right now. That's, we are here because we would like to show you the next step of, um, of a um, loyalty program on an NFT or on, on a blockchain basis. And um, what about you, Samson? Like, what, what is from, from your perspective, from your experience, from the F&B side, what like people collect? What is the motivation? What, did, what, what do you see every day? So with us, it was like in Germany, it's specific to say in Germany, we had like a loyalty card, what we were offering our customers. So for every 10 coffee that you got, you got like, um, the tent was for free. 
So the people were actually like really into it and it was kind of a sport what they're using was like, hey, I would like to invite you guys, but I would like to have the, the points. I would like to have the, 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 the stamp. And um, so I have actually one here. It was actually from Martin. You know, he borrowed it to me. Yes, I'm a customer. Uh, so sorry for that. So this was actually like a normally card where you have on the, on the other side, you have like stamps and the tent was for free. So we decided, and the number was going high, so we thought you have to do a different um, way to have a loyalty program. So we decided to have like a specific card that you get when you giving your information, so your, your personal in information, that we can actually, um, not the tent was be for free, so we're doing that for every euro. So we get actually a point. So we thought we have to give them reward at, at the end, just not for 50 uh, euros, you will not get an NFT. You will get it for maybe 1,000 or uh, 2,000. We didn't figure out yet because we don't want to show the person how much he spent at the end. We will like to give it like how they say silver, gold or platinum. And we would like to use it and bring it to a different level. So that is the reason why we had like um, these thoughts were way before we, we had this conversation where we have to come here, but it would be a good thing that we can share together with people who do an effort to do quality and trying to um, um, bring it to other uh, places. Like a lot of times people come to us and say, ask me about restaurants, bars, uh, where to go, because they know that, I'm, that I like quality. So we can actually combine it in a platform where we can say, hey, um, go to Dubai and um, um, go to this specific coffee bar because they're asking me from all over the world, like, hey, I'm in Australia, I'm in London, I'm in uh, Amsterdam, where I can go and get my coffee. This is like actually trust that you're building. And I tell them like most of the times, go to this place and go to this and say hi, because like I said, I like to travel and put this in information. And, um, that's why is the reason why we came here to show you guys like how we can use it not only in the database in the in a digital way also like transferring the 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 real life into the data bar, into the um how do you say it like database yeah. database yeah, yeah. So I'm Amy, new in this database. Sorry you're already jumping into our platform <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, um, advertisement. You will see that our platform is really flexible. You mentioned already some ideas which are like for Bunker, from your perspective, uh, very important, but it's really flexible. But before we talk about what is possible, I would like to show you some ideas how um, the platform will be built. Like name is member for membership. Um, we have the first layer. The first layer consists of single units, all the dots are single units. So it can be a local shop, a local cafe, a single hotel, a single newspaper store, you name it. Um, in our case, we have the Bunker Cafe in Frankfurt, the Bunker Cafe in Dubai, which will be open soon, then it's different B&B hotels. These are like on the first layer, all single, not um, interacting with each other yet, but this is also can also be one solution that it's, it stays like that. I, I will mention this later. And on the second layer, we have the brands or the groups. You can see it here, the B&B Hotels group, groups is uh, on, the, on the second layer together. The Bunker group is on the second layer together. This would be the second layer. What I'm showing you is quite like simplifying the platform, but I think you, can, you, you have an idea how it will build up, how it will work. And um, on the third layer, which is, will be the whole platform, everything will work together, interact together. This is like the, opti like the optimized version of member, how it will be. But it doesn't have to be like this. Um, coming back to layer one, within the platform, we will offer single customer loyalty solutions per units. So if Samsung decides that only one of his cafes should have that kind of solution, it is possible. If he says, oh, I have two cafes and they should like interact with each other in this, uh, in this, um, in this loyalty pro pro resolution, it's also possible. So we can pick out and um, have like, yeah, uh, just single units that work together, uh, that work um, for each other, or on a second layer, we bring it together 
and then um, we have um, solutions for every group, for every brand. This is also possible. And the brands can decide if they want to have their own ecosystem or if they want to participate with the whole platform. This is also possible. And on the third layer, this is like the all, all participating units um, benefit from each other in this all-in-one solution what we offer. This is our idea, how it can work. But um, one point is also um, that um, Samsung already mentioned that people come and ask him, where can I get the great, uh, great food? Where can I get this and that? I also know from our uh, conversations that you don't mind also telling them in the same city where they also can get good coffee. And yes. this is also the idea behind Member that um, all participating partners um, benefit each other. Maybe you want to say something to, the, to, to your idea that it's not always good to, to think in a silo. It's more that it's, all, it's about the, the big thing, about the big, big yeah, idea. Yeah, it's about like a lot of people think about competition and it's they all say, oh, no, I'm not saying anything about my competitor. But actually, you can achieve way more if you're supporting each other. So people in the past, when I was working uh, my own in the, in the cafes, people were asking me where I can get in the other part of Frankfurt a good coffee. And I was like, tell them that I go to this place and this place. So they, my employees were asking me, why are you doing that? And I said, because I'm confident. I'm confident to say and to do um, to say that other ones are good, and we need that actually. We need to support quality, support it, and uh, I think if the people get actually, in my case, like good coffee in the whole city, they are not going back and say, okay, we'll have the shitty coffee again. You know, where push the button and they get the coffee. So, and we have got like actually people coming from Australia to our place in Frankfurt, and they said, hey, um, how you got this place? Uh, and say, someone in Australia recommend to come to this place. So it's, um, I think about competition in a whole different way. And we see in a different world, like people, farmers, where we're going to different farmers, um, third world, um, where they're actually based on working together. You know, it's, uh, they have to. And it's working pretty good. And we, in the Western world, we don't really need that. So it has to be a decision that you made to, to do it. But every time when people are working together and good concepts working together, it's actually blowing up. Yep. But the scariness is like actually that it's going down. And we have to work against it. And I think with the loyalty pro uh, program that you have to do it in a digital, uh, digital way, it will, everyone will be... Um, uh, benefit out of it. Also, Riyad, you also told me um, earlier that also from a B&B hotels perspective, it um, it's, would be a good solution if you um, interact with the partners uh, near the hotels, for instance, with, with restaurants. Because people also ask you, you guys, where can I go for get this great food or that great food? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, uh, we have our customer is, is a tourist, is uh, business uh, people who also only like for a few hours uh, in a city or a new place and, and also ask for recommendation where is the next coffee shop or where, where is the next restaurant. So it would be a good uh, platform to, to, to work, to have collaborations with, with uh, partners. Yep. Yeah. So um, now I would, I would like to show you um, about when come the NFTs in place. Now we just talked about how it could look like. And also, this is quite simplified. And um, when we look at, um, at the slides, we see that on the first level, this is something also Samsung mentioned before. In the first level, it's not about NFTs. It's about what you know. You earn digital points. Right now, at Bunker Cafe, you get like those paper cards. Yeah, paper cards. And it's not the best for, the, for, our, for our environment. But um, the idea is, on the first level, what we want to offer is that you earn digital points in the platform and you get rewards. For instance, like Samsung mentioned before, yeah, you uh, purchase nine cafe, uh, coffees and then the, the tents is for free. And something like that, similar with B&B hotels. So on the lowest level, it's about just digital points. Then on the next level, we, um, customers earn single collectibles or NFTs after spending a certain amount or after purchasing from various partners. So uh, in the back end, we can have different logics, like how it will work, like how much they have to spend here and there until they receive an NFT. And this is the idea behind. And 
once they receive an NFT, um, it, this is, um, it is attached to bigger re rewards, re rewards like um, two, uh, three nights for two, for instance, mm. at B&B hotels. So this would be like the second level. And um, on top, um, it's about the exclusive NFTs. So customers can earn exclusive NFTs after collecting a certain collections or certain after purchasing certain um, constellations. And these NFTs are like the like like the highest grails of the NFTs, and they attach to really exclusive rewards. Like for instance, you fly with Emirates, and you always get an upgrade to business class, something like this. But we talked also before that um, you can also exclude something, and if b, &B hotels would like to um, just um, would, would exclude other competitors, mm -hmm. it's also possible. So maybe you can mention something to that. Yeah, so um, I mean, b, b hotels, there are, I think, over 450 hotels across Europe. So uh, I don't know uh, how to work with, uh, with competitors or it's, it's different than, than having a quality coffee and uh, yeah. recommend other, uh, other uh, places. So uh, yeah, so I think the most important thing is to have like, uh, like a platform where uh, our customer can uh, use the, the collected points or NFTs all over uh, the world in our hotels. So uh, that would be our main goal to, to, uh, yeah, to have that. Yeah. And Samson, what about you? Yeah, we would like to um, use it in a, in a like to, to share it. Like actually, that what, you're gonna, what we're going to do, like right now as a person, to do it like transfer it in a platform where people can actually inter interact with each other and like having recommendation what are you doing right now is actually you going on Google and Google it and we trying to do something else because the most of the times is who's paying the most who's on the top yeah, like TripAdvisor right like when yeah. you're on top that doesn't mean that you have the best restaurant or the best yeah uh, but most of the time it's not like that because we don't need actually to do TripAdvisor or whatever mm -hmm. because we're doing good quality and we're trying to purchase it in a different way so the shop is packed yeah. And we would like to do it and keep it that way. So we would like to have a different platform where people can interact and that a person don't have to do it as like actually to create a platform for conscience people. Like conscience, I mean, in that they know exactly, hey, I'm not going everywhere where I was going. I'm going somewhere else where people like actually direct me to because they are conscience. They say, okay, this is a good hotel or this is a... Uh, good restaurant, bars, whatever, you, you name it. But something also coming back to the example with the sneakers that I mentioned before, you have similar ideas with your coffee brand because, I mean, you, you sell coffee and also coffee beans, but you also have ideas with partners in Frankfurt for definitely. like limited yeah, edition definitely. merchandise. Yeah, definitely. It's not easy for a lot of people that actually work in the hospitality or a lot of cultural things to uh, do the step to this, uh, d yeah, digital way because you have so many things to do, and we are trying to be um, working forward that it's maybe like a platform for them as well. So we would like to definitely interact with the people in the city, um, but also outside the city. And, um, and we'll, we have to do the first step because we know uh, exactly like how busy people are in the hospitality are. They're really busy, yeah? Uh, and this COVID time was not easy for them. And, um, yeah, I have a lot of employees that are taking care of the business right now, so I have the po uh, possibility to go and see what we're going to do, what's the possibility is to sit here and, and, uh, and talk with you guys and trying to find new ways. And uh, definitely we want to interact. We wanted to work with each other uh, together. And um, I think that kind of a direction where it's going, it's, it's really uh, uh, important and we have to do the transfer because no one wants to live in a, in a metaverse or whatever without any culture. And that is actually what it is. Restaurants, bars are like a meeting point uh, where people are coming together and you want to have something authentic. And that's what we're trying to transfer. And I think and we're doing good. What you mentioned is also something that, um, I mean, we purchase everything like digital, but if you want to have a good coffee, you have to come to your cafe. But let's say the, the, the lifestyle store next door, 
you can also purchase it online, but with our system, we can also put it in the, in the, in the logic that people have to purchase offline to get the points. This is also the idea to bring more people into the city, to make it more lively, and that um, not everybody purchase um, clothes or sneakers online. That's also an idea behind, right? Yeah, definitely, for sure, yeah. And um, I think with this uh, um, NFTs that people are collecting, because people love to collect. That's what we know already, you know? It's a different things what they like to collect, but they love to collect. And you have to think about it, how it is working. Uh, the, the mentality of the city and of the uh, country is uh, important as well. Like people in Germany like to get something for free at the end, you know? That's, it's Not uh, just in Germany, I mean, <laughs> yeah. also in, in, in other the countries, US, uh, everywhere. Yeah, like everywhere, like in the US as well. You see a lot of people like to, and, but you can see it as a marketing part. That's why I always saw it, you know? People all get reward as a marketing part, you know? It's, uh, if you're paying Google to actually, uh, that people are directing to your, uh, to, your, to your coffee or to your restaurant, whatever, you can also give someone one something for free because he get rewarded, you know, yeah. for it, you know? Because he came like nine times before. And um, with the NFTs, we would like to put it up and we would like to see where is it going. And, um, I mean, well, you also want to be first mover from, from this kind of, in this kind of topic as far as I know. I mean, in the end, um, our solution is an all-in-one solution. Like I said, or I mentioned earlier, every hotel chain, um, every shop, they all have their some um, customer loyalty programs. We want to bring this together in an all-in-one solution so you don't have to jump to each um, solution from the other brands. It's all like on, on, in one place. And um, that's why I also would like to finish this session. Um, thank you very much for being here, Samson, Riyadh, for thank giving you. insights. Also. In the, in the past for giving insights into the platform, what it should look like, how the logic sh um, behind should be like. And um, thank you so much for listening, for participating, and um, enjoy the next sessions. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Martin.